I just got off the plane in El Alto and I'm headed with my driver to go to my hotel where I'm going to collapse in bed. I got to my hotel um, safely. I'm wiped out. It's um, seven o'clock in the morning right now, but they are gonna have my room ready. So I was really worried I was gonna have to hang out in a bar somewhere. The waitress helped me out with some coca tea, so I'm gonna give that a try. And um, it's interesting, but it smells like crab soup, but it tastes like lemon. It's kind of citrusy and they said not to mix it with coffee. I was debating whether or not to eat anything and I'm glad I did. I think it's gonna be better for me and now I'm gonna go crash in bed. It's about 8 p.m. I've been suffering for about 12 hours with pretty severe altitude sickness. Um, my head has been pounding. It's like a bad migraine all over my skull cap and I just threw up everything I had. So I took a shower and, uh, and then I took uh, an aproxen sodium pill with like a half a granola bar and hopefully I can keep that down. And then by morning, I'm really hoping this headache goes away because I need to go out and grocery shop for my supplies. <sighs> But otherwise, doing good. <sighs>
it doesn't look like there's a sidewalk here, so I may be stuck. We'll see. I accidentally went onto the blue line and just wasted one of my tickets because I wanted to take the yellow line. The good thing is they only cost three bolivianos a piece, which is about 50 cents. I'm visiting the Valle de la Luna and um, I have to admit it's a pretty cool park and I never would have known about it but I do have to say uh, these railings are not very safe so I would not suggest coming here with kids that won't hold your hand. It is lunchtime, so I think I'm gonna get a quick bite to eat. Well, other than providing calories, I'm not sure I have a lot good to say about this burger. The bacon on it is really salty. <clears throat> They're really into salt in this country, and they're really into mayonnaise, but they haven't discovered mustard yet. Overall, um, you know, two out of five, I'd give it. One positive thing I'll say about this meal <clears throat> is that it was really cheap. It only cost me about 45 bolivianos, which is around $8, and it probably would have been twice that much of yours. Fortunately, to take the red line, it's a really long line. Looks like it's gonna be about a 30 minute wait before I get on my next cable car. I just got off the red line and now I'm headed to the witch's market. One thing I will say is that whatever you want, you can find it on the streets of La Paz. I have never seen so many street vendors packed into so many spaces on the street. Um, it's kind of chaotic, but no one hits each other. No one runs over each other. Everyone just kind of moves around each other and it works. Um, I'm tempted to try some of the street food, but I don't want to get sick before my hike. I've just come into the witch's market and apparently here they have cures for diseases and possessions and whatnot. And um, I think a lot of this superstition is carried over from the pre-Columbian area. They also perform some ritual sacrifices here, which you can see from the stacks of wood and the um, small urns that they burn things on. Well, I definitely would have liked to see more of the city today, but it's a big city and it's at almost 12,000 feet and I'm not 100% acclimatized, so I was getting really worn out. But from what I saw of La Paz, it's a very interesting cultural experience. I can understand why it's not a major tourist destination because I just don't think there's enough here to really draw people into the city you know there's just not enough like city cultural activities 
yeah, it's difficult to justify flying into 12,000 feet, getting altitude sick for 24 hours to come and explore this city. Um, but otherwise, if you're an adventure traveler, if you're looking to spend time in the rest of Bolivia, do some hiking in the mountains around here, I definitely recommend spending a day walking around the city after you've acclimatized um, and after you've kind of mapped out what you want to see because it's very easy to get lost here. And if you don't speak Spanish, you're going to have a lot of trouble. So try to at least have some basic ability to communicate in Spanish or hire a guide. So that is my summary of La Paz, Bolivia.